okay so let's take a look at how to get current date time in apex for the which we are going to make use of default time zone data from our salesforce server okay so let's open developer console from setup menu and when that page opens simply open execute anonymous window okay now here you have any existing code remove that and type in system dot debug where you have system date time okay and then we add date time dot now okay then make sure to end this statement with semicolon at the end okay i am also extending this window now next i wish to check is user date and time so depending on the settings that you have chosen at the time of registering the account that would be system dot now format so let's say system dot now dot format okay because we need that date properly formatted okay now we will use system dot debug okay now here system date of date and time with formatting okay so we can simply use one without formatting and we will see one with formatting for user for system okay so this one is for system system date and time okay now here you see system dot now so it should output data similar to our date time okay so one is with date time from our salesforce server one is from our own system similarly user date time we will be getting this from local user system and we will get one for our users account related data from salesforce server so we will use date time dot now dot format okay so let me clear the confusion first system date time is getting one from your salesforce server second user date time will be fetched from your system similarly this system date time which i should mention that is getting one from our system only the date time and these date time dot now will be getting one from our salesforce server okay now let's execute this and we will check the log for user debug values okay so let's get this at the bottom okay so here your system date time first one then your system date time now with formatted including time here and then user date time and then next would be your user date time data okay all of this including with uh, total execution times are also listed here so you can go through the log so you get the idea how to get current date time in apex based on that time zone data